Hello friends, so welcome back to the part 2. So here we will be talking mostly about after installation how we will open the IDE and uh, what all the default configuration comes uh, when we install the courses and how we will start creating the project. So let's uh, start uh, for that. So when we first open the IDE, sometime when we have the multiple versions, uh, we can see this particular uh, pop-up coming which will say to import the old versions files packages into the newer version. So we can click on the import if you have the multiple IDs. But if you have only one ID, this particular pop-up will not come. So how it will be? So once we will click uh, on the codices ID shortcut then it will start opening so when we have done installation of the codices by default it install a windows based uh, plc so pc based uh, plc is there which even we can say emulator or soft plc uh, kind of thing uh, which will be running in the windows platform so as you were seeing in the bottom in the tray it will it will be there so it will be having codices gateway and so this is the uh, plc uh, windows based and so we can start creating the project so we can select the standard project so standard project why we are selecting is uh, it will give us a basic structure so we can define the project name and we can define the location where it has to go so if we have defined location if it is not there it will create on its own it will ask you to give the confirmation once the confirmation is given it will create that. now here we need to select which device so i have multiple uh, devices already there so uh, for the windows based uh, PLC we can select uh, the Windows Win 3 64 bit because my machine is 64 bit so it has two versions 64 and 32 so uh, we can select the 64 bit so this is uh, the Windows based PLC which will be which will run for the two hours when we don't have the license so it runs uh, at two hours in the demo mode so when we select the standard options of the creating the project it will come with the same structure so it will have the project name where you can add object so there, there will be different options then it will have the devices so we can create this also uh, manually uh, when we do an empty project so in the devices we will have all the options and we will have also the browsing of the plc from here so we can give so when it is running on the uh, laptop or on the desktop any machines then it will come so right now it was in stop mode so when we select it start plc the color will change and we will see there the stop plc will come so then when we click there it will give us the pop-up so this is a new feature introduced by codices that for every plc they have given that uh, we need to have uh, login credential when we start working on that but this can be they have also the option that this can be bypassed but when we do it for the first time it will always ask because by default uh, that feature is enabled so we have to create a user and password and then we have to give that in order to log in or to connect with the with the plc once we give the credentials it will connect and it will show what actually the versions uh, all the details of that particular plc will be coming here so at is windows based so it will be showing that what we selected as win v364 bit plc so all the different options here the application so when we what the application we have files logs everything will be coming in the different different options so we can we will be going at those in the details um, 
at a later time so here i will be guiding you through the plc project so here after device the plc part will come where we have the option to add a new application so by default it is there because of the standard project we have selected so in the application then we can even rename this application okay so just click there and we can be able to rename the best of part is that when you rename anything it will find where it has been utilized and it will update everywhere okay so we have to select and we have to just say okay and yeah in the drop down even so everywhere where it has been utilized everywhere it will get updated this is the library part so library manager where we will be having all the library we can add the library and we can uh, install a new library basically from the library repository so if we have any library to be installed we can install it from here and those are different options and by default it will create a plc program so as in the initial i selected that as a structured text so that is why it is coming everything as a structured text part so you will have the different options to select and uh, it will also go under the task configuration where it will be called so the plc program will be called in the task configuration so in order to execute it will give you all the details basically all the, the property of the task configuration what is the maximum number what is the maximum limit everything will be detailed here so when we click on the main task so the program one program or the many multiple programs we can call it here we can define the different priority different type of uh, how it will be executed whether it will be cyclic or on uh, some application code or some trigger events we can even give the intervals means the scan rate basically at what scan it should be uh, running we have the option to give the watchdog which we can enable and then we have to give the details here and then we need to call that particular plc program so by default it will come and if you want to even we can call multiple programs programs here so when we create multiple programs uh, it will come we can call them basically so this is the whole structure and after we create the project so these are the different options uh, we get so it will have in the menu bar as a uh, file edit view different options are there okay so in the project option we have the project information project settings everything will come here build debug uh, everything will be there so these are the different uh, many options from where we can go to different uh, part of the code society and we can perform different tasks let me walk you through some basic and ungraded options which will help us further so <coughs> let me go to uh, the project setting so when we go to project and and project setting we will get a uh, few options so uh, this is the compile option so it shows actually with which versions we are working and with which version it will compile here we set all the compiler warnings so when we compile our project what all the warnings should come so here it gives us all the details library uh, development uh, we will talk later so monitoring it is for the display mode of the integer variable how it should appear means in binary format or decimal or hexadecimal 
then if you want to take uh, the print off of the pages which we create in different formats so there we can set it up here security is basically to secure our project so it is only for the project part so when you are uh, working so at that particular time we can secure that this is another good feature which we can check is static analysis slide so we can uh, create our uh, default features here so which on which uh, it will do some analysis and give us the report so like unused variable overlapping memory area so all those things whenever it find it will give us the report for that users and groups is for the user management so basically user management for the project so when we create uh, uh, different users we can provide them uh, which user can be the owner in the owner group and we can define new groups also to view edit so like those options we can we can provide that in the users and groups so uh, Visualization is for when we create any visualization part in the codices, codices by default. So when we are creating, we should have this particular symbols check so that we should get a visualization properties. And this is the visualization profile. So which one we are using. So these are options in the project. Let's go to tools. So in the tools, we have some more options. So and yeah, a lot of options are there, but the major one which here in the tools which I will be talking is mostly about load and save because sometimes we forget to save our program and we close sometimes it crashes so it, does, it doesn't get saved. So we can click or check this particular automatically save at certain minutes. So that will help in that. And when we open our project, we see the startup page, correct? So this startup page we can also uh, define by ourselves which one we want so by default it is codices uh, but uh, we can also define and how the project compression should be there so when we archive or when we uh, save what exactly the compression level it should have whether we want to create any backup file or not and save before build so we can check uh, this checkboxes for those purpose Another uh, feature which uh, is good here is that the text editor part. So this text editor, actually it is uh, just for the uh, setting the different themes and it provides only two themes. So black and white, so dark theme and the default one is the white. So, and it is mostly for the ST editor, which we can set it up here. So here also we have options uh, to put the margin to put the text area how it should be how the monitoring should be happening so these are all the options in the tools so one thing which we need to do is also if you want to customize your menu bar so we can do it from here we can remove uh, what is not needed uh, what we need so all those things we can do it from the customization So in the installation part, I showed uh, in the previous video about uh, installing, if you want to install new packages and all those things, we can open it from the windows, but from the ID also, we can open uh, the codices installer. So this is the option we can choose it from here. This device repository is basically for installing all the different EDS file or any new devices. So we can do it from here. So any of the electronic data sheet, uh, Profibus uh, data sheets, so all those things, uh, we can install it from here. It will come in the device repository report. Yeah, so these are the options which we have, which we can utilize basically. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.